What's up, fish tank people? Dawson's Fish Tanks bringing it to you with a throwback Thursday. That's right, there used to be a different pond right here that I want to show you all from back in the day. I'm excited too because today is a beautiful day. It's Tuesday. I think it's the last day of March. I'm not exactly even sure. I just fed my daughter and I'm sitting out here in this chair next to my pond. And if I'm sitting in this chair, I'm in a good mood because this is where I chill all summer long. So I'm getting excited because my pond is ugly right now, but I want to show you guys how it's going to go from ugly to pretty good looking. So um, you'll notice the waterfall isn't on. This is one of the best parts about living in Kentucky. I know some of you say Kentucky's GU, geographically uh, undesirable, but uh, you got rocks like this, just sweet limestone all over the place. Every single one of these rocks I went and found out in nature by hand, loaded them up in the back of a pickup truck or van, whatever I had, and uh, brought them back. So it was a lot of hard work, but once I get this thing rolling, you'll see it's pretty sweet. You know, 100% free. Um, you know, this I build on my own. I'm actually probably going to build another one of these this summer. Don't tell Jessica. But I want to show you what's going on in here and why I'm excited. As you can see, down here, it's kind of uh, ugly, you know, there's a lot of slime, it's just gross, a lot of decaying waste and what have you. I've got some uh, power heads I put in here. Don't worry, later on in a couple shows, I'm actually going to do a review of power heads, which I think are the best and which aren't. But what I'm excited about is this. These lilies right here are just awesome. And they're going to bloom and they're going to be sweet. It made it through the winter because they're way down in there. I've actually got a nice layer of sand. Um, you can see that one's coming along pretty good. Um, you know, good. This is just growing. These are uh, native. This is parrot's feather. This stuff rules. And then um, I've also got a bunch of this. This is one of my favorite plants. You can barely see it. The stringy stuff right here, that is jungle val. Makes it through the winter, lives like a champ, just loves it, grows in anything, looks great in a tank. It'll run over your tank if you've got dirt in it. But that stuff rocks. Uh, and then this is also a uh, cardinal plant that's going to get real tall over the uh, summer. So I wanted to show you guys this. There's some more cardinal plants. And I wanted just to give you guys a show of this. This is my uh, tank up, or excuse me, my pond up by the house. I've also got another one back there. We don't have time for that one today. So I wanted to show you the uh, beginning of an ugly pond that's going to turn pretty here in a little bit. So thanks for watching Tank TV with Dustin and we'll see you real soon. Take care. Dustin's fish tanks again. Cleaning the pond. Looks a lot better than last time we were meddling with it. Can't beat water changes. TV tank Brian right there. <laughs> this is my dude Brian. What's up, man? What's up? This is his TV tank. I'm going to go ahead and say this is the sickest TV tank I've seen done. I know uh, Eric I know Eric uh, did one, the guy that owns the crib, but it's ridiculous, man. It is so ridiculous, bro. How many shrimp did you say you had in here? Close to 200. Yeah. We're just breeding like crazy. You know, just your standard TV. Hey, do me a favor. Flip the lid up on it. All custom. Got his, what are those, high output? Uh, HOT5s. HOT5s. You can actually see some gravel in there now. That's what we're going for. In a week or two, you can see it all over the place. Yeah. And we're just going for like, you know, 30, 40 percent. You don't want to shock them too much. What do you think, Brian? What do you think is up with this right now? K, okay, it's probably high or low. Ammonia. K, okay, it's probably a little bit low just from the sole fact that we got plant materials decayed all winter long. Uh, ammonia, well, it might be a little bit high, but with the natural rain, I would presume it's not terrible. With the water change we've done in the past two weeks, I think it would probably be just fine. But as long as once we get all this plant material out of here from last year, we'll be... Okay, it'll go up. Rocking, yeah. We suspect that's what was killing the rainbows, because they were in a low cage, bred in a low cage, and then brought into a higher cage. So we're going to watch out for that this summer when we breed them. Good stuff. Uh, 
on Saturday morning with a goldfish in the pond. A little stuffed up because of allergies, but there I believe is mom and dad. And I want this one to breed so badly. And you can see how they're kind of bumping each other. I think that's some sort of a mating. And then they're also over here being sweet. But I'm just going to leave them and let them uh, spawn. I'm not going to separate them out or anything this year. I just kind of want to see what I can get. But if anybody has any suggestions on what to feed them, let me know. Some people say don't feed them at all, which I think sucks because I like having them come around. I'm trying to get that one there, yeah. This algae will be going away. I just got to mess with it. I'd love to breed this little... This, these round ones right here, I think they're awesome. And that's actually L1 right there. That's the first baby I ever had. I love goldfish. show my dude over here who's uh, been somewhere in between chilling and straight chilling. The air pump I have isn't working at this second. I don't know it's because it's been out in the rain which probably isn't good for him but that pump is probably 15 years old so whatever if it dies. So say what's up dude. It's looking good. Um, one of the things I noticed that there's two types of duckweed. There's like the Slovenia which is the um, is the more round and then there's just like I don't know what the scientific name is but there's two different types you see the round stuff and then you see like the little like pointer he likes the smaller stuff more and uh, that's sweet I probably owe this dude a water change but he is uh, looking really good real wobbly um, and just kinda you know goofy goldfish looking like he is so uh, pretty excited about the way he's going doing a big water change probably tomorrow just don't feel like lugging out the hose but as you can see, he's doing all right, so we're happy about that. Uh, I loaded it up with duckweed again because I can. I think he likes it, and you know it's an easy snack. So I like I like getting him on that routine. And he doesn't seem to have that bulge. He seems to be kind of full. He looks like he's eating well. Um, I'm assuming some of that's poop down there. So that's a good thing. <laughs> 